Okay, so today we're going to look at the difference of two squares formula. This states that a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. And we're going to use this formula to simplify some complicated expressions. It's a really powerful tool. So firstly, let's check it's correct. Let's expand the right-hand side out and make sure it lines up with the terms on the left-hand side. So if we expand this out, we get a times a is a squared. a times minus b is minus a b. b times a is the same as a times b. So let's add on plus a b. And b times minus b, that is minus b squared. And you can see that the a b's cancel out. So we're left with a squared minus b squared. And this is what we want, so this is correct. So now let's use this formula and simplify some expressions. So my first example is x squared minus four. And we can plug this straight in because x squared is a square number and four is also a square number. So four is two squared. So this equals x squared minus two squared. And now we can use this formula straight away and we get x minus two times x plus two. So this is in a more simplified form, which is what we want. So another example, let's do four y squared minus nine. So four is a square number and nine is also a square number. So we can write this as two squared times y squared minus three squared. And two squared times y squared, that's the same as having two y all squared. So now we have the difference of two squares and we can use the formula to simplify and we're gonna get two y minus three times two y plus three. So that's great, that's a much simpler form. That's what we want. So one more example, one final example, we'll do eight m squared minus two. So m and x and y, they're all variables, so they can be any number, they're all the same thing really. Um, but now we've got a bit more of a problem because eight isn't a square number, two isn't a square number either. So we can't use the formula straight away. So what we're gonna to need to do is we have to see that both terms are actually even. So we can factorize out a two. So if we do this, we have two times and we factor out a two from eight, that's the same as dividing two, uh, eight by two. So we're gonna have two times four m squared. The m doesn't change. And if we divide two from two, we're gonna left, get left with one. So minus one. And now four's a square number and one's a square number. So we can write this as two times two m all squared minus one squared, because one squared is just one. So now we've got the difference of two squares and we can use the formula. So we're gonna get two times two m minus one times two m plus one. And that's, there we go, one more bracket, and there we have it. So that is the simplified form of these expressions.